Made in Chelsea's Millie McIntosh says she was snubbed by her friend Meghan Markle after she started dating Prince Harry in an abrupt text message. She was just aiming for a role on Mike. Yup and she was ashamed of it, after she hooked up with Harry, so she had to ghost Millie and everyone else from that part of her past. The Made in Chelsea star, 33, says she became friends with Meghan, 41, eight years ago and even gave her a little black book of contacts when she moved to London. The pair met up multiple times to hang out, but Millie says things changed between them when Meghan went public with Harry. She didn't know anyone so I gave her the best places to get your nails done, basically my little black book. I gave her all my contacts, Millie said. The reality TV star says they bonded over their marital troubles, as Millie was married to Professor Green at the time and Meghan had previously split from her first husband Trevor Angelson. When we first met I was married going through a bit of a turbulent time, and I got divorced, and she was divorced so we had quite a lot to talk about, she said on her mom Lemma's podcast. We hung out a handful of times, we weren't best friends, but whenever she was in town she'd let me know and we would just hang out. Millie explained the last time they saw each other was on a trip to the Cotswolds. What I thought was going to be a day of yoga ended up being Rizé and Margaritas in the pool. It was a really fun afternoon. There were pictures taken of us riding around on the bikes. That was the last time I saw her, she revealed. During the trip, Millie says Megan briefly mentioned she was dating Harry. Weeks later, rumors of their relationship began and when it came to light Millie decided to message Megan. I messaged her and said hey I hope you're okay, thinking of you, and she sent me this really abrupt message, that was really unlike any of our communication before, Millie said. She did not disclose what the message she received said but added that she didn't question Megan about her relationship with Harry. It's not like I messaged her asking if it was true, that was none of my business. What I read from that message was that she needed a bit of space, to cool off, Millie added. I didn't message her again, but I did expect that we would stay in touch. I thought she'd message back and say, sorry everything is a bit stressful right now. I never heard from her again. I felt like she'd basically told me to FK off in that message. So I did. And we haven't spoken since. Millie thought the reasoning behind the message was that Megan couldn't be associated with her as she was dating Harry. My take on it is that, this is my instinct as why it happened at the time, she thought right I'm gonna be royal now, I don't need Millie in my life. The reality show at the time, she thought I can't be associated with Maid and Chelsea, I'm gonna be royal. Meghan wanted to get a role on Made in Chelsea, which is basically the posh, educated, English version of Jersey Shores. Hot young wasters living lives of debauchery. While Em was upper middle class in L.A., that's not exactly growing up privileged in the Belgravia, Chelsea area. More importantly, she had no backstory explaining why she was in Chelsea. Reality TV shows based on the geographic area requires that you have a plausible background to explain why you are there as you are supposed to be repping a specific demographic. Jersey Shores needs Jersey accents and Jersey life experiences. Same with Towie. Same with each of the Real Housewives franchises. It shows how clueless desperate she was. This would also be during the same time frame when Ashley Cole was playing for Chelsea FC. Megan was begging Lizzie Cundy to set her up with Ashley. M is not a footy fan, BTW. Lizzie is another one of M's ghosted British friends who is also a wag, married to London footballer Jason Cundy from 1994 to 2012. Although Jason was retired due to a career-ending knee injury by this time, he had started his career at Chelsea FC the bulk of his career was playing for London EPL, English Premier League, teams. So Lizzie Jason traversed within the elite EPL London party scene and Lizzie remained tight with other London-based wags. This is a hyper-privileged and wild world with some of the hottest, fittest multi-millionaires on the planet. That was M's real goal. If Lizzie couldn't get the Ashley deal done, then hooking herself into the Chelsea party scene could. That why Millie was important to her, as a gateway to wealthy, elite London footballers. To gain attention M donned her lucky yacht girl Panama hat and flashed a beaver shot to let producers of Made in Chelsea know she wanted in and would be the ride of their lives.